Hey, welcome to Clark's Tech Reviews. I'm Clark, um, and today I'm going to be uh, doing a bloatware review. Um, yes, bloatware, which is uh, software that came preloaded on my computer and I haven't bothered to take off because I found it really stupid and really funny. So, uh, here we go. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a review on uh, the My HP Games bloatware, um, and more specifically the My HP Game console. So we're going to open that up here, makes you agree to a bunch of crap, and uh, notice how it's powered by Wild Tangent, which is some proprietary company that I've heard of maybe once or twice. I don't really know what they do or what kind of game. I don't know if they make the games or they just, I, I don't know. Um, so it's initializing, I guess. And uh, while it's doing this, just note that uh, this is something I haven't used before yet, so um, this is my first experience ever using any sort of proprietary games format or anything like that, because I usually delete them um, right after I install Windows, but I just did a new installation recently, and so I thought I'd give... Um, I, saw, I thought I'd do a review on the HP, uh, the HP game console because it looks really dumb, um, and for some reason it's taking an absurdly amount, long amount of time to uh, open up here. I don't really know why or what it's doing. Are you actually doing anything? Uh, here we go. Seems to be doing something. Uh, okay, so it's opening something up. It's telling me my quay is and quay. Q is empty. Um, let's see. Alright, so it looks like we have um, different types of games. We have the family games, which are all the cartoons and whatever. Um, the casual games, which are mostly puzzle games, and this says enthusiast games, so I guess the action games or something. This says blow stuff up, whatever that's supposed to mean. Um, <laughs> whatever type of games these are, except I don't exactly know what blow stuff, blowing stuff up has to do with Snowboard Super Jam, but, um, uh, so I guess I'll just go to my games, because I know it comes pre-installed with some games, so here's, I guess here's all the games that I can play directly, so I'll just look through the games. about uh, uh, Blackhawk Striker 2, because that sounds like fun. Okay, I guess it's extracting critical game files, loading the game up in whatever way it does. And here it goes. Uh, so, something seems to have happened. I'm not really sure what just happened. Made it made a noise. Um, doesn't seem to be a lot of anything going on here. Uh, oh, something's opening up. Something's opening up. I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Oh, okay, so I guess this is one of those things where you get, like, a few free sessions and then it makes you pay for the game. Christ, you never want to pay for this game. And there's ads within the game, so I guess you have to play the game without ads. It costs four of these coin things. Jesus. Okay. Um, I'm just going to click play game. Uh, this is probably... Oh, let's see. Putting in. Now it's going online. What is this? Some sort of online game? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's going online to get all the whatever, but game is loading. Oh. Now, from what we can t see here, we can tell that uh, 
they are pretty much probably all powered by ads and stupid people who think they're cool because they buy games on wild tangent. Um, come on, let's go. Alright, here we go, it looks like. Alright, oh, okay. Alright. Looks like something's happening. Alright, Wild Tangent. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says Wild Tangent. And Blackhawk Striker. Alright, I'm gonna go New Game. Mission Mode. Mission 1. Oh, you can select the top of uh, Blackhawk. Okay. I think I'm just going to select the Blackhawk, because it is called Blackhawk Striker 2. Oh, it's one of those types of games where you move around and what's fire. What's fire? Okay. Okay. Ding. Blowing people up. So, as you guys could probably already tell, all of these games are pretty much ripped off of some other game, and they're not very good rip-offs at that. So, um, that's my review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow with another review for you guys. See ya.